Welcome to Fix It Home Improvement, covering projects that every homeowner should know and great products for home and garden. Hi, I'm JC, and this is where we share weekly home improvement tips. I'm here with my co-host, Cindy. Hello, JC. Hi, Cindy. This week, we're going to be talking about bidet toilet seats, and we'd like to thank J.R. Ewing for a five-star rating and review for our new ebook. We'd also like to thank everyone who downloaded Book 18 during our promotion. If you haven't downloaded it yet, it's only a dollar on Amazon. It's called Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know, Book 18. Woohoo! The first bidets were developed in the 1600s in France, and it consisted of a low wooden frame that held a bowl, and it was designed to be straddled so you could wash yourself. You would empty and refill the water in the bowl by hand. Yuck. (laughs) The first bidets with a spray nozzle were developed in the 1750s, and the spray was operated with a hand pump. Mm. A Toto executive said after the toilet paper shortages in 2020, they sold out of their toilet seat bidets in about four weeks in North America. (laughs) The founder of Tushy Toilet Seat Bidets said sales jumped fivefold during the pandemic. Wow. So my cousin is taking care of my uncle, who just turned 80. He has a lot of medical issues and dementia. My cousin asked if a bidet would be good for him, and I said I didn't know much about bidets, but I could add it to the podcast list. So here we are discussing bidet toilet seat. (laughs) So first, let's start with what is a bidet? Okay. So a full-sized standalone bidet is a plumbing fixture that sits next to a toilet, and it looks like a toilet bowl with a faucet. It's used... Have you ever used one? No. No, I never have. Would you even know what it was before this episode? <laughs> like you walk well, into a bathroom? I would have no idea what it yeah, is. Yeah, I knew, but I've never, never used it. So it's primarily used to clean yourself after you use the toilet. For men, it's primarily used after you move your bowels. Exciting. So a standalone bidet isn't a toilet. The inch and a quarter drain pipe is like a sink drain that is a trap and goes into the wall or the floor. So it's for water only, where a toilet has a large, usually three-inch pipe that's under the toilet, and it's designed for waste and paper. Right. The main types of bidets are standalone bidets that are used alongside a regular toilet, built-in bidets that combine a toilet and a bidet, a bidet handheld sprayer for a regular toilet, and a toilet seat bidet. Okay. How do you use a bidet? Since I haven't, I had to read a few articles. <laughs> and they said... <laughs> that was a fun week. <laughs> so if you're in a home with a standalone bidet, you would use the toilet, then wipe once or not at all, then move over to the bidet. So get up and look. <laughs> right. And many standalone bidets have a faucet-like fixture on top of the bidet, or they have handles and a spray nozzle inside the bowl. You would turn on the water and adjust the temperature with the handle, then sit on the bidet. And this is like a toilet bowl without a seat. Huh. Some people use their hand to wipe the area. Some will have a bar of soap by the bidet or a soap dispenser for cleaning off your skin. You can also turn around and then wash your hands with soap under the running water with a faucet style. Some people will have a basket of small towels and a second basket to put the used towels in after drying yourself off. Or you can pat down with toilet paper and throw the toilet paper in the garbage or in the toilet. In one article I read, some homes in Italy will have a special towel next to the bidet for drying off. And this isn't for your hands or your face. (laughs) But most people only use water from the articles I read. But some people like to use soap to be extra clean. All righty. Where are bidets popular? They're popular in Spain, France, Italy, Portugal, Asia, the Middle East, and South America. A travel and leisure blog I read said, Expect to see bidets in public toilets and hotels in Italy, Portugal, Japan, Argentina, and Venezuela. Many of the public toilets in Asian countries will have a toilet with a bidet attachment. Hmm. In the U.S., handheld bidet sprayers, bidet attachments that sit under a toilet seat, and bidet toilet seats are popular. With these styles, you can use toilet paper and then rinse with the bidet. Okay. What is a handheld bidet sprayer? 
It looks like a spray attachment for a kitchen sink. Hmm. It uses a T-valve to connect to the water, and there's a stand or a bracket that attaches to the toilet tank to hold the sprayer. The bracket hooks to the top of the tank, and then you put the tank top over it. Okay. What is a bidet attachment? So this is a unit with a wand and the controls that sits under a toilet seat. So you would just use your existing toilet seat, put this under it, and put your toilet seat on top of it. Huh. And some companies will have a bidet attachment, and then they sell their own toilet seats that match it so it sits very flush. Okay. Because most homes aren't set up for a full-size bidet or have the room to easily add a stand-alone bidet, bidet toilet seats are becoming more popular in the U.S., but you'll usually need to add a new outlet or GFCI to install an electric bidet seat. What are the benefits of using a bidet? Bidets are good for homes with a septic system because there's less toilet paper being put into the system. Mm. It reduces the amount of toilet paper needed, reducing that expense, and there's less clogged toilets in homes with bidets. Cleveland Clinic says using a bidet is gentler on your skin. Toilet paper can cause skin irritation and small cuts. Bidets are helpful for older people or people with mobility issues that don't allow them to use toilet paper effectively. And using a bidet is more comfortable for people with hemorrhoids and skin problems. According to the CDC, germs like salmonella, E. coli, and norovirus can get onto your hands after using the toilet or changing a diaper, and those germs can get onto surfaces in the bathroom, doorknobs, your phone, money, and credit cards. Mm. In one study, they found that elevator buttons have more bacteria on them than a toilet seat. Yuck. People who wash their hands correctly have lower rates of diarrhea, colds, and foodborne illnesses. Cleveland Clinic recommends to correctly wash your hands, wet your hands first, and the water temperature isn't important. Apply soap and lather up your hands, scrubbing your wrists, the back of your hands, your palms, around and between your fingers and under your nails. Rubbing your hands together creates a friction, and that friction combined with soap removes microbes from your skin. You want to rinse your skin thoroughly and then dry your hands thoroughly. Damp skin is more likely to pick up bacteria on surfaces than dry skin. Huh. What are the types of bidet toilet seats? There are electric and non-electric bidet toilet seats. The electric bidet toilet seats need to be plugged into an outlet, and that outlet needs to be a GFCI or protected by a GFCI outlet or breaker. Hmm. What are some features on an electric bidet toilet seat to look for? Check how long the power cord is. You need to know the distance to an outlet. Mm. Tank-style bidet seats have a heater that warms the water that's held in a chamber in the seat. And that tank-style seat usually has about a minute of hot water. Okay. Unlimited warm water models have tankless on-demand heating elements. Oh. So you get as much hot water as you want. Well, washing off with cold water sounds terrible. <laughs> A warm air dryer is a good feature to look for on an electric bidet seat. A warm air dryer will reduce the need for toilet paper and towels to dry off. But a few reviews I read said on many models it can take two or three cycles to dry your skin. Mm. So check the reviews on the model you're looking at. Okay. Some have night lights, and LED night lights are good for young children or seniors for safety, and you don't have to turn on the bathroom light, which can be disruptive if you're going back to sleep. On non-electric seats, they have a battery if there's a nightlight. A heated seat is going to be comfortable in cold climates. An oscillating spray moves the wand back and forth to provide a wider cleaning area. An adjustable nozzle allows you to move the wand for each user for the best wash. Some controls have user presets, which are handy if you have multiple users. A bidet toilet seat with a deodorizer uses an activated carbon filter. The fan draws air from the toilet bowl through the filter to reduce odor. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. What about non-electric bidet toilet seats? How many times have I said bidet? <laughs> Most non-electric bidet seats have a T-valve that attaches to the bottom of the toilet tank fill valve, and it draws water from the cold water supply line going to the toilet. Depending on where you're located, the water could be pretty cool, 
I looked at the U.S. groundwater temperature map, and water temperature coming into your home can be around 40 degrees Fahrenheit in northern states and 60 degrees Fahrenheit in southern states. Hmm. When I was doing some training in Texas, I tried to run the cold water in my hotel room for a while to get a glass of cold water, and it never got cold. Bummer. (laughs) Some non-electric bidet seats have both hot and cold water connections, so you can draw hot water from your bathroom sink shutoff valve. So check the requirements when you're comparing models. Hmm. So you're washing yourself with cold water? That sounds terrible. For, <laughs> well, if you're in a warm climate, it's not that cold. Oh, and, sure. And, Tell it to your butt. <laughs> you're usually not doing it for very long. But this is pretty cool. If you don't want cool water and you don't want to plug it into an outlet you can get a non-electric bidet seat that connects to a hot water line under your sink. So you're drilling a hole through the cabinet? Right. You'd have to drill about a half-inch diameter hole through your cabinet, and your cabinet has to be set up so it's easy to get right to your toilet. Right. But it's convenient. So you'd have a T-valve under your toilet for the cold water, and then you would put either a a T-adapter on your shutoff valve or get a dual shutoff valve for the hot side and run a supply line to the seat. All right. What are some other features to look for? The wand that sprays the water can be made from stainless steel, which is durable and corrosion resistant, aluminum, which is less expensive than stainless steel, but still durable, or plastic, which is the least expensive. Some companies call the tube that extends a wand or a nozzle. The opening that allows water to spray out is a nozzle, but some companies call the whole piece a nozzle. Okay. A two-in-one nozzle has a single wand with two openings, usually for a rear and a front wash. A three-in-one nozzle has a wand with three openings, rear, front, and then a specialty nozzle like enema or a wide spray. The enema or power wash function on some models is a stronger spray to help alleviate constipation. Hmm. There are single and dual wand bidet seats. One company says their single wand bidets have one wash nozzle for the rear wash mode, while their dual nozzle bidet seats have an additional wand for a feminine wash mode. Both rear and feminine nozzles can be used by both males and females. The feminine nozzle is angled more forward and upward and has more holes to produce a softer spray. Hmm. Companies that have one wand and two nozzles have a nozzle for a rear wash and a wider opening or slot for a feminine wash. So compare the amount and types of nozzles. Okay. The controls for the bidet seat can be connected to the seat, or some have remote controls that come with a wall bracket. Hmm. Pretty cool. If you see the term wand or nozzle sterilization, it could have rinsing settings before and after each use, antimicrobial coatings, UV light, or a setting to put an electrical charge through the water during the cleaning cycle to sterilize the wand. And some have silver nanotechnology, which is a coating that kills bacteria and other pathogens. You love nanotechnology. (laughs) A seat sensor prevents water from spraying and other features from turning on if you aren't sitting on the seat. Pre-misting coats the bowl with water to keep the toilet cleaner. Hmm. A sittable lid supports the weight of someone sitting on the closed lid, but check the weight limits. I saw from 150 to 300 pounds. Okay. Child mode is a setting with a gentle spray and low temperature, and the wand may move forward. Many manufacturers don't recommend letting a child use an adult bidet setting. Okay. Can bidet toilet seats fit on elongated and round toilets? Yeah, you would pick the size to match your toilet. So elongated toilets are about 18 and a half inches, and round toilets are about 16 and a half inches from the holes for the toilet seat bolts to the front of the bowl. Right. So you would pick it to match it. If you have a toilet where the seat bolts can't be accessed from under the seat, you'll need a bidet seat that comes with expansion anchors. And these are inserted into the holes for the seat and tightened from the top. Okay. This type of toilet is called a skirted toilet. So skirted toilets are shaped to have a smooth exterior that's easier to clean, and it hides the toilet seat and the tank bolts. So you need to look for a seat that says it works with a skirted toilet if you have a skirted toilet. All right. 
What type of maintenance is there for a bidet toilet seat? One manual recommended routinely wrapping the nozzles in paper towels soaked in vinegar, then gently rubbing the nozzles with paper towels to loosen and remove hard water deposits. Another manual says to gently pull out the nozzles and use a soft toothbrush to clean off any mineral buildup. You'd want to remove the water inlet filter routinely if you have one and rinse it under running water. If your seat is electric, it will usually have a setting to extend the wand without it spraying water. Hmm. But check your manual for their recommendations for the maintenance for your model. Most of the wands retract into a housing or behind a shield to keep them clean. Oh. Do bidet toilet seats have a warranty? Can yeah. you have a warranty on a toilet seat? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of technology built into some of these seats. Hmm. So I saw one-year, 18-month, and three-year warranties. And some companies have extended warranties that you can purchase because some of these toilet seats can be 500 to to $1,000. Wow. All right. What are some top-rated bidet toilet seat companies? Bio Bidet, it's B I O, capital B I D E T, Lux, L U X E, Tushy, T U S H Y, Toto, T O T O, Brondell, it's B R O N D E L L, Alpha Bidet, and Fluid Master. Do you have anything else to add? Bidet toilet seats can reduce the amount of toilet paper you need and are gentler on your skin. If you have older family members or someone with mobility issues, installing a bidet toilet seat can make it easier and more comfortable for them to use the bathroom and stay cleaner. Hmm. And if you're traveling abroad, make sure to look how to correctly use the bathrooms before you go. (laughs) Because if you're staying in a hotel and there's no toilet paper, or if there's a sign that says, put the toilet paper in the garbage, it might be a stressful start to your vacation. So in some countries where they don't have adequate pipe size or waste management, toilet paper is put in the garbage can in the bathroom rather than putting it down the toilet after you use it. So it's definitely something to research before you go. Yeah, and it might help you decide on where to go. Hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Let's wrap this up. You can subscribe to the podcast on your favorite podcast app. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a review. You can check out our home improvement videos on our YouTube channel, Fix It Home Improvement. And you can subscribe to that as well. You can download our ebooks, Home Improvement Solutions, What Every Homeowner Should Know, books 1 through 18 on Amazon. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a five-star rating and review. You can email us at fixitpodcast at gmail.com. And you can follow us on Instagram, Fix It Home Improvement. Thank you for listening. Talk to you next week.